let me put this another way that some of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle may appreciate. There's going to be a documentary written about this, made about this. I don't know if it's going to be on HBO or HBO Max or Netflix, and there's going to be a, a documentary made. And just like every powerful and impactful documentary, there's going to be a victim. There's going to be victims. 15,000 plus New Yorkers who died in nursing homes and their families and their grieving friends. There's also going to be villains. I think the villains probably are going to be the governor. I think the villain is going to be Melissa DeRosa. How do you write that? Father was a big lobbyist for the very hospitals that benefit from some of these executive orders. I read recently that her mother-in-law is a U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York. This is a documentary in the making. Probably the health commissioner, Howard Zucker. This documentary is going to have heroes. I believe the first hero is going to be Assemblyman Ron Kim. We're standing up and speaking, as we all know, truth to power. The advocates who have asked for responsibility and uh, openness, transparency, they're going to be true heroes. The nine workers at the New York State Department of Health who resigned based on principle because their expertise was being ignored by the governor and his staff, they will be heroes. The Republicans in both the Assembly and the Senate, we're not going to be heroes, but we'll be on the side of the angels. The only role in this documentary that's up is a question is where the Senate majority is going to be. Where are the Democrats going to be in this documentary? Are they going to be on the side of the angels or the other side? That being said, Madam President, I appeal the ruling of the chair and I ask the amendment be ruled germane. Thank you.